switch all this. What's up? This is new. The noodle man himself. This is Val. Sorry, was that limit? That was a, uh, yeah, um, finishing touch. Let's go. All right, Noodle lost his first stock. I know Noodle hates playing against Clouds, so um, you might you might see a little bit of uh, anti rage tactics from Noodle right here. I see. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has a hard time dealing with backer in general. A lot of Beefit's moves are kind of stubby, so that is um, it's a pretty big I think factor in this game. And like right now, and you're gonna see maybe a lot of planking because he has a hard time getting off of ledge with that backer. Yeah, I so. see a lot a lot of planking and a lot of spacing with the side B and with mm -hmm. the neutral B. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he, it's its not that he wants the plank, he's kind of that, like, that's just his best option over here because he doesn't have a lot of ways to get off. That was really good by him to just try to get to the ledge over there, but because he's kind of getting walled out in the corner right now. Because landing against Cloud um, with a lot of these sweeping aerials is kind of difficult for Weefit because it doesn't have, like, a hitbox that he can just draw. Right, right, right. Very good salute to Sun over there. I think he was reading the backer over there, so that was really good. Mm. Yeah, um, I insane out of shield option or just <laughs> insane startup. Yeah, um, Nair well. is pretty safe. Oh, using yeah. the hitbox of the of the ball to get through that. Nair is pretty safe for Weefit. Uh, I don't know whether he full roll tilted or he uh, shielded over there, but that just might have been a true punish from from Cloud. Another really bad thing about this matchup is that we can't really get a lot of their combo starters over here. No. Ooh, wow. reeling back with the cloud and that forward tilt. You know how he kind of does like this, puts his hand out? Yeah. Cloud barely faded back from that wow. because he was charging the up smash. That's it was literally wild. like, uh, have you ever seen like a hole in the wall kind of game where it's like you kind of just like put a square thing? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was literally like a pitch, like a pitch perfect. It was like the perfect like fit. It was crazy. Tried to get the setup with the side B, or you know, dropping the side B, trying to get the ball to block the recovery. Nice, nice. Ooh, good berry. Yeah, a little bit rough, rougher doodle in the beginning, but it looks like he might be able to bring it back. We fit has a lot of damage output, so if he can right. get off this ledge over here and get the center stage, you can see a lot of him uh, getting these Nair combos, and that's straight to 80% right wow. there. And just like that, it looks like it's even again. Falling Nair with deep breathing is just exactly what you hope for in this match. Oh. oh, using the hitbox of the ball again to extend it. That's wild. But really good play from Valkyrie, using actually the reverse hit of that Nair because she turned it around. That was the only reason that hit. That was really good, because she kept the lingering hitbox behind her right. as she was going out, instead of having it finish early in front of her. Mm. Um, sorry, this is the, the set count is wrong. Let's see what Deal's saying in the chat. Yeah, doubling, delaying it with the reverse nair, and hitting the, uh, the side B ball. Wait, 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 is, uh... Wait, a Deal, is Valkyrie spot wrong? I thought that was what it was, wasn't it? Did I hit the wrong one? Is this it? Oh, it's fine now? Okay, cool. Yeah, Noodle almost brought that one back. Yeah, sticking with Cloud, sticking with uh, Wii Fit. I know uh, Valkyrie has a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. yeah. She played a little bit of Violet in the middle and yeah, a little right. bit of Aegis as well. But, I mean... It's kind of like, she definitely is a very much a sword character, but I think Cloud is where her, like, specialty is, just because she's really good around playing, uh, like, pressure with backer, and just kind of like, right. just like her jump pressure is really good. Nice. Yo, sweaty. <laughs> Got Rink in the chat. Okay, good forward tilts over here. Again, oh. Noodle pressing a lot of these buttons out of disadvantage and getting juggled really hard, I think, is really, really bad in this matchup. We it doesn't really have anything they can land with or any kind of landing except goes for a ratchet down air over there, trying to close the stock out early. He does not want to play this game. No. Ball after ball, he's bringing the entire, like, physical training set out, dude. This is PT time right now. All right. Barely making it back to ledge over there, but the ledge trapping stage Ooh. is not over until you hit the ground. Ooh, really good spot, air dodge hit from Valkyrie. Barely gave me able to get out of that portal. That would have killed. Nice. Overextending a little bit, Noodle. I think throwing a lot, a lot of unsafe things just because he's really trying to get his thing started. 
but looks like Val might run away with a little more extra mileage than he'd like. 151, she has really nothing to lose at this point. Maybe looking for a climb hazard or something like that to close the stock out. Little kind of turtling in shield right now, really afraid of the back air. Okay, never mind, he got a back air of his own. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, Cloud is so good at just keeping up that pressure with the back airs, you know, with the nares. Yeah, another really good advantage of Kalos is there is that you can use the uppy a lot further than you would be able to do normally, so it's really good ledge over there. Now, I forget, does Cloud have a wall jump or... I... can't remember. If so, I feel like, you know, that's gonna help Cloud's recovery so much just on Kalos. Yeah, I feel like the fact that Noodle Pick just means that Cloud does it. Yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe he does. I don't, but Noodle I think just does like the stage a lot. 133, it's it's looking like Val has been a lot more consistent in getting the kills, but Noodle definitely with that X factor. Right. Uh, it really just comes down to, can Noodle clutch out the kill earlier than Val, or will Val keep the, the close game for that long set? That should not get no, waiting out the upbeat, that was really good for Noodle. I, mean, I believe the last time she did that, she picked another defensive option, she picked uh, air dodge out of side B, so that was really good for Noodle to wait for that. I mean, yeah, I mean, Noodle's brought it back just really well in this, you know, second stock here. I Good mean, we're, we're almost yeah. even here. He wasn't able to get anything off that, unfortunately. Gets that spike hitbox and no, uh, no punch as well. No, that's not gonna kill. What's the ball set up over here? High to two frame with the ball, I think. He hasn't been able to get a lot of these ledge traps. Right. It definitely seems like Noodle has been, like, side deciding on the stage way more than Val. Val has been able to hold center stage a lot more often than Noodle, so... Ooh, nice, nice forward, forward though. there. That being said, Noodle really capitalized on being able to chuck Val into the corner. It looked like she kind of wanted to back up and see what he does, and he was just able to use that opportunity to push her all the way to the corner. Right. Even though Kalos has one of the better corner games, I think, because of that extra plat. Yeah. Oh, almost got the free oh, punish, and he got the spike over wow. there. Wow, really good awareness from Noodle just to go for that. Yeah. You know, he saw an opportunity, capitalized on it. It was looking a little bit rough over there, but he kept his composure, and he waited for a good situation to capitalize on. Cloud can wall jump, but most of the pros have... This stage make it worth for Noodle. Space to play the camping game if needed. Easier ability to detect spikes. Uh. Yo, socks! Rink, what the fuck? <laughs> Gonna go small battlefield. I guess the, um... I think the ball was actually really useful over there. Salute the Sun seemed a little more effective given the plot setup. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe Kalos, that is just better for Noodle over there. Although I can't imagine, like... The plot is that bad for Cloud either. Maybe it's just like a, it's like a comfort thing of like not having the middle plots to deal with. Right. Because I think drop down plot pressure is a lot better for like Cloud than it is for Refit. And even in general, like Sharky pressure is probably better for Cloud than it is for Refit. But I, I think Refit can get a lot off of you know these small battlefield platforms with falling nair extensions. Maybe get another nair, get another up air in there. Yeah. I guess that just means that I guess Noodle doesn't think the damage is the issue with the killing. Yeah. Because he's, I mean, he's also, Ooh. ooh, great forward air spike. Unfortunately, Val, ready to react and save her drum. Um, I guess, I think, like, historically, we've seen both of them get to pretty high percent, so. Definitely, I think, a, a, a good call on um, Noodle's part to, like, maybe forego the damage a little bit for a little easier kill potential. Right. Again, getting that forward air, uh, forward, that side beast spike, what the just Valkyrie's getting a Ooh, lot of these good, back here. these good limit cross slashes. It's just Noodle's been also just really good at evading them. Yeah, I think um, I think more more than just the fact that he evades them is like right after he evades, he's pretty good about making sure he's in a good position to like punish the defensive option she picks after him. Right. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even need to fly for that narrow no. extension. That was eighty-five percent for absolutely no mm -hmm. reason. One of four, and he's a full stock ahead already. Um, ooh, unable to, to get the read on that one, unfortunately. But he put himself still oh. in a good position against the double ball. Yeah, the real equalizer in this matchup is Noodle's use of just the edge guarding. Yeah, and, you absolutely. know, keeping Cloud from recovering that, you know, being Cloud's big weakness. It's like, but, hit me twice, like, shame on you. <laughs> that ball's crazy, though. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot. Yeah, 69%, mm. that's the number. He's more than a full stock guy right now. Yeah, I think uh, Weefit definitely has a greater burst damage potential than Val. Um, I think that's been really good for Noodle. Because, I mean, Cloud's all about that consistent gameplay, but I feel like the fact that he's been using a lot of these like opportunities where Val has been taking it slow to like find his opportunity to strike, it's kind of like Cloud gets a lot 
like an easier time getting the hits off. He doesn't get as much. So if Noodle can kind of figure out that rhythm and get like one really good hit off, it's much more worth it than the right. Oh, wow. like that DI over there for the four tilt. That's my roommate.